Alright, welcome guys. We are wrapping up the Dr. Black project. We're going to talk about it. Um, I want to clear... Well, okay, we'll talk about the Dr. Black uh, overview at the end. It's not an overview, but this... its Man, this series has gotten so many of you typing to me on Facebook. Uh, mostly good, but, you know, some passive-aggressive, uh, you know, dickheads, but I don't entertain them. I just block them and I get them off my page. Um... But uh, let's talk about, okay, so he went to e-bike and he picked up a couple things and just to finish it off, um, man, we wanted the strike industry compensator, pistol compensator. One is the problem is a lot of pistol compensator guys that come in one inch, but it was so good looking. Uh, and so we had to be creative and that's what you guys got to do. You'll see if you look carefully, <laughs> there's a seven inch in here, okay? So this is the EMG F1. Uh, Guys, you got to protect that inner barrel. Suppressor, muzzle brake, compensator, uh, tracer, whatever you need, anything. Just protect it. Make sure it's, it's protected from all sides and it's not some flimsy, you know, sh piece of shit, okay? You remember, inner barrels, I'm, I'm a big advocate of, you know, buying quality inner barrels. This is an Ed GI barrel. It's the brass. Let me just see. Next one. I, I love these companies, okay? This guy's been making them forever. Excellent quality inner barrels. And he's got he's got stainless steel ones. I gotta go buy them to test them out. Um, so you gotta protect them, okay? So don't don't get some flimsy one. Get something that will I understand you want to fit your project but also protect your inner barrel. Okay? That's the biggest thing you gotta do. Alright, so got that. Got four of these suckers. These were on sale at e-bike. And this is the old school 5K for those, right? If, if you see any flames or any orange in it, it's probably the most likely the old one. You can usually tell by the look, but look at this, all right? Came out beautiful, okay? Okay. This chrono's at, it's about like, uh, I'd probably say uh, 1.3 to 1.2 joules. Uh, so okay wait wait I'll, I'll talk about that after all right uh so we got the we got a seven inch ed gi barrel 601 this i was shot right um it's funny thing is someone someone said on i think on a youtube or facebook that like the only thing they changed was the ring and it and it got me thinking when i saw this i was like holy shit, this is completely different so i'm gonna go buy the Autobot and the Decepticon, the new ones. I just hope this isn't a counterfeit because we can see there's a little misspelling, but it's e -bike. I don't think they would have gotten counterfeits. Um, but I think this is, there's probably three generations now I think about this for the bucking. Because I was comparing it to my old one. My old one has no rings. And there's probably a second version where they just added the ring to the old one. And I think this is probably the newest one. I, that's my theory because I, I was like, oh, the, there's a lot of differences. On the bottom of the bucket inside, there's two little half moons. There's rails on the top next to the contact contact patch. And on the right side where it usually locks into the hopper unit, it's shortened and it's angled. So it's completely different from the, the original Autobot. I'm like, that was a huge difference. So I'm going to pick up some of those down the, in, down the road. And I was like, so it's always nice to see when... Customers will pick up stuff. We were talking about buckings and stuff. I told them Autobots, hey, I love Autobots. I didn't think they were going to have the new ones. I was shocked. Um, 60 degree yellow. Okay, is that it? Oh, and then got an edge blowback unit. Okay, the lightweight one, not the version 2 low blowback one. You can see the purple. You see the purple? That's ah, just came out so nice and it's so light. Okay, when he shoots it, He's, still, he's got a little more breaking in to do, and it's just, it's going to be right there, okay? We kept this guy as tight as we could, okay? Nice and tight. That's how we want it. Um, he's just got to shoot it, wear it in, and then that's it. We're done. We've already done the shooting test. Uh, I told you guys. Um, so he plays out in Corona, guys, Riverside. It gets hot out there. Most of the fields out there, you can go up to 400 FPS with two hours. It's a lot of outdoor fields. So I always tell people, hey, if you're playing close to 400, get yourself a 7-inch. But I want them to be legal. Now, 
you can be you can kind of skirt on the edge if you do you you go, you go down to like five nine eight but the problem is if you're playing pistols you're getting close you're going to shoot people and it's going to freaking hurt and they're going to be able to tell people can tell what over 400 shoots so 601 is where it's safe at now if you're running HPA, you can control it. You can do a better job of, uh, you know, fluctuating with your, the temp you don't have to deal with temperature. But temperature, he's running green gas mags. Okay, green gas. So it's diluted, which is good. These are all TM mags. Lovely, amazing, love them. Uh, if you want some more power, you can just go step up to propane. You could even get, you know, red, black. But I think those are a little too strong. <laughs> all right. So that's... 601 is why you want to go with the 601. It's not too tight enough to that's going to kill you, okay, or get you in trouble. Guys, make sure you follow the rules of the shield. Uh, we want to keep their soft sport alive. Anytime you get this, this stupid, you know, fighting shit, people beating each other up or sh shooting hot or putting crap, it's just not good for the sport. So we want positivity and all that good shit, all right? Uh, I, don't, I don't condone cheating at all, and, and it's, I hate it, okay? It's, you know, people wear too much armor. Those are the hard ones to knock out. That's why I made the the, the DB the DB mags. They'd be like fully armored, like juggernaut, Call of Duty style. I'm like, oh my god, how do we how do we get these guys to call themselves out? But anyways, all right. So that's where we're at. Um, I gotta ask him what color fibers you want, and that's it. We're done. This was a really fun project. Uh, it brought out so many interesting people to talk about it. <laughs> uh, if I can try to condense it, I don't want to take too long. Yeah, I want this to be a short video. Uh, I want to get this in his hands. Um, probably have him try to come for this today. Today's Friday. I don't know if you can, he might be able to pick it today, tonight, or this weekend. Um, we're going to be building a Dr. Black in the future. We're going to build two for sure. Don't have the money now. Uh, probably won't have it for quite some time. Um, I'm hoping when we have, when we build, uh, we get the uh, over time that they start building more parts. They already have a lot of parts. Uh, leaf spring, but the leaf spring and the disconnector and valve reset don't look anything special. You can see it on their website. Uh, I was actually looking at it earlier. See, so look at that. I was looking at their leaf spring and it just it doesn't look anything special. Only thing is we can't see from the side profile, but we can kind of tell from the thickness here. If it's really thin, then that might be nice, but if it's not, then it's just your standard, you know, leaf spring, uh, sear spring. Uh, they got a rod, they got this, doesn't look anything special. They got nozzle springs, they got the slides, which I was interested in was the trigger bar. I think it's here. There we go. This is what I was interested in. All right, that, that little part right there, that's, I'm curious to see. Uh, and we know what that does. That's pushing the disconnector up. It's like, <laughs> it's kind of like the little mod I've done before on the channel. But this time, part of the trigger bar, which is much nicer. Okay, um, but we're going to check out Dr. Black. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, a lot of people came to defend it. And I look, I can chalk this off as a QC, QC issue, okay? And the biggest thing I want to people to understand because this is what we had a lot of us had conversations about is and you can see why I bought these back in the back these Dr. Black is in the premium bracket the only other company we're missing really is Nova here we're missing Nova and we will get we'll get up to date on Nova okay uh, uh, Boom Arm just released the Tiki's we'll pick up the Bombers uh, Bomber is just Nova Boom Arms like you know Alpha Airsoft Gunsmith Bro Alpha uh, Airsoft Masterpiece same thing. Um, when you have a company that has, if we buy all their parts, I expect it to be a better fit than average, okay? They're, Dr. Black is responsible for the machining, the anodization. We don't know if they do it in-house or if they outsource the anodization. Regardless, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, they're responsible for the product. They get that product back you know, their tolerances are all on them, okay? We had to do quite a bit of work for Dr. Black. What you guys buy Dr. Black for, what we all buy Dr. Black for, and I'm buying it for, is one, to test for the channel. But if I didn't have the channel, would I buy Dr. Black? I'd probably buy one for just to make something super crazy. Because that's where 
they have cornered the market. I give Dr. Black all the credit for that. These are so unique and beautiful. The machining is great. The colors are vibrant. That's where Dr. Black just knocks it out of the park. They knock it out of the park for the creativity, the uniqueness, the colors. And that's what we were, were I think most of us are buying it for. I don't know how, I'll, I'll, st I'll die on the hill. That's the main reason we're buying it. You can't say you're buying it for durability. That is, a, they, they, they promote it on their website, 6063, guys. Go do your research. I want you to do research. Check out 6063. Go research 6061 and 7075. Go research all three. We don't know the grade, so we'll just just act like they're all the same grade and compare them. Okay? Just do the research. Come on on your own. All right? I already had to tell a lot of them to go do that on their own. But we're buying it for its, its creativity and its colors. If you don't have the skill set, the tools... You gotta go pay a tech to do it. You gotta hope that tech has the the ability to do it. Okay. Looks like we got a little earthquake going on. Okay, we're okay. Um, if you you know want to get you, you gotta go buy the tools. Then you gotta spend several hours on figuring out how to do it safely. Okay. I told you guys paint or tape it like crazy. Go a little at a time. One, two, three strokes. Put it in. One, two, three strokes. Put it in. Take your time. It it takes time to do it. And it's just, it's a little, you guys saw these two experiences. We're going to build the red-black one. If it's the same thing, you know, no bullshit. Well, shit, man. <laughs> I don't, and I told these guys this, that some of them just didn't get it. When you introduce aftermarket parts, companies, other companies to it, that's fine. We, I expect to do work for that. Look, in general, I expect to do work for it. All of us should expect to do work on it. Airsoft pistol parts. Think about it. this. This pistol you're looking at has six companies on it. 5KU. We got Doctor Black, uh, Edge, Cow Cow, uh, Nine Ball, TM Hop of Unit, Ed GI Inner Barrel, Maple Leaf. Okay, it's so over six companies. So you, it's obvious that we can make it work and shoot, but you need the skill set for it. What I'm talking about is front sight Dr. Black, slide Dr. Black, rear sight Dr. Black, slide frame Dr. Black. That's what I was talking about. And that's when we're, you know, uh, you know, the people, they just, I don't know. They saw one thing and they, they couldn't let it go of it. And that's why they, you know, some of them came a little too hot-headed. And there's a lot of good guys, though, that would, you know, so they had good experiences and, you know, and that's something we understand, guys. Just because I have a good experience or a bad experience doesn't mean you're going to have the same one. You could go buy this same exact stuff I did here, and you might have to do some work. Now, with my experience, okay, and how many for how many years I've been building shit, I'm going to say on average, you're not going to have issues with this. The people who have issues with this, and I've already saw a couple, because I, I guess this set is, is popular, um, we talked about it in the last video. Uh, I had a couple of guys. <laughs> I had one guy saying Gunsford Bros sucked. You guys know what high cap he was trying to put in it? I'll give you guys a guess right now. Say it, say it. Okay, you said it. He tried putting in a damn DOR in this. this, this it's just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I understand it says high cap, but that's just... Someone that's just not either new to the airsoft world or hasn't done enough research. And that's the problem. I know it's hard. But you guys, I think if you probably type DO on YouTube, I hope my video comes up. I tell people not to buy it. <laughs> it's, it's a high cap, but it's not a high cap. It's, and it's confusing. If we were to break down just a TM high cap of 5.1 black, there's probably at least five generations of it all vastly different. So that's like another whole ball uh, can of worms you can open up and get into. So that's the problem, man. It's just, you know, too many of these guys just, you know, they'll say shit about company and they don't know what they're talking about. It's just, you know, it's, it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It's always going to happen. Okay? Always going to happen. At the end of the day, that's what I'm talking about. Dr. Black to Dr. Black. That is something I think should be a QC. When you get in this premium of a range, you are spending over a thousand dollars. These, this should be 
should be better care okay I shouldn't have to remove so much material to get this to function okay I don't mind a little but enough to the point where like okay I had to take a couple of hours to do this to really do this right because the main reason you're buying this is because it's beautiful to look at you don't want to see any dinks any scratches on here come on now that's where I, I was like okay this is you know a little ridiculous okay we already have a softer aluminum now I have to I have to mod it come on all right so that's where I'm at all right so I don't want to no more bullshit dr. black guys we're, we're done here <laughs> I had a great time building it I just you know it was annoying to get some of these uh passive aggressive guys but it is what it is you know I know I have I've been gone for a long time and I see that these are sold out a lot so I assume there's a little you know there's a little group of fanboys for them uh, but I'm curious to see how this holds up uh, that's what I want to see I want to see how long this suckers last if he does a good job or not um, and the good thing is it's, it's a good, well you know actually anyone that I work with has always been good I've never worked I've only worked with a couple of people in the past that were shit and I never talked to them again I get them out of here and think I record everything so I can't say shit <laughs> all right Dynasty Dr. Black, guys. Fantastic. It was great. And remember, guys, at the end of the day, I'm still excited to try it out. So I don't want any people thinking, oh, he hates Dr. Black. I don't. I just have better... My standards have raised because of 5KU, okay? They've created something so affordable that looks so unique and different and cute. Or not cute. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, guys, whatever. <laughs> but this is this is three hundred dollars you're looking at right here. So there's gonna I'm I'm you know I'm giving it to these companies. Okay, do you have to do a lot of work on that? Probably yes. But you entered the premium bracket. You better have you better damn well do the best you can. Okay, that's I don't care if you got the market and you're the most unique stuff and uh, most colored. I I agree, it's beautiful do better that's and can we chalk this off as a a just a one-off it could be okay we'll see the more if the more customers I get and the more they start buying dr. black uh, it may be this say another customer hits me up and he says hey I want a, um, a slot in frame I'm gonna ask him hey can we record it I'm gonna I'm just gonna start stacking them in for recording if we get more customers asking for it but they're out of stock so much uh, that's why mostly everyone's been just a slide, just the outer barrel, just the sights. It's, it was hard to get <laughs> these for. Guys, this took several months, by the way, to do this build. Um, okay, so thank you guys. Thanks to the customer for sharing. Appreciate it. Um, you know, thanks for everyone that's talking. I always look, I enjoy conversations, but just, you know, I'm old school. Got to earn that respect, okay? You can't just come, come at me. All right, I'm gonna ask questions, and if you can't answer those questions, or you know, so your first build, you damn know, you damn well know I'm gonna be like, you know, I'm be like, I'm gonna be putting that screw in your ass. <laughs> All right, see you guys around. Take it easy.